Hello there and welcome. Have you ever spent any time wondering, how does everything happen? How does everything happen? Why does the night follow the day? Why doesn't the day follow the day? In fact, in some places it does. But I spend a lot of time thinking about this. In fact, at times it almost drives me crazy. But like right outside of my studio here is a Japanese maple tree. And there's times of the year it's absolutely beautiful. In the spring of the year it has buds on it and then the buds boom and leaves pop out. And the leaves generally in the spring are a very deep greeny brown. They're not a pretty looking leaf. But then they start to change and over time, you don't notice it happening, just one day you look and it's a different color. And by fall, the leaves are crimson red. They're the most beautiful. It is the most beautiful tree. And it's right outside in my studio. I'm sitting here at my desk and the camera's around me, but out there is that tree. And you know, every fall, the leaves turn red. Every spring, they're greeny brown. They're not greeny brown in the fall and red in the spring. They're always red in the fall and greeny brown in the spring. Think about it. Did you ever wonder why the tide goes way out and the tide comes way back in? I spent some time in the Navy in Canada and I was down on the East Coast for a while and I was near the Bay of Fundy. Do you know the Bay of Fundy has one of the highest and lowest tides in the world? It's absolutely amazing. It goes way out and then comes way back in. Same up around Prince George on the West Coast. You go on to a ship and you might be walking up a plank just right straight up and you go off the ship, sometimes you're going right down. That ship goes way up in the air and it comes way down. Very high, very low tide. Now some places the tide's not very big. They do have a tide, but not too high, not too low. Why is it so different in one place than another? You know, why does the leaves change color? Why do they change color? You know, why does the grass keep growing? Wouldn't it be so much nicer if the grass just, you know, just stayed at a certain length? You wouldn't have to cut it, but it would always look pretty, you know? Do you ever think about this? Do you know that everything in this universe happens in an exact way? An exact way. Not by chance, but in an exact way. When John Kennedy, the President of the United States, asked Dr. Werner von Braun, who was the mastermind behind the space program, and asked him, what would it take to build a rocket that would carry a person to the moon and bring them back safely to Earth? Von Braun answered him in five words, the will to do it. That's it, the will to do it. He knew he didn't have to know how to do it. He knew he had to learn how to do it, but you didn't have to know to make up your mind you were gonna do it. Now, why did he say that? Because he understands the laws. Von Braun one time said after years of studying the spectacular mysteries of the cosmos, he was led into a firm belief in the existence of God. And he said, the natural laws of this universe are so precise that we don't even have any difficulty building spaceships. We can send people to the moon and we can time the landing with the precision of a fraction of a second. Now he said, these laws must have been set by someone. I see the laws as God's modus operandi, but I'm gonna tell you something. Everything happens by law. When you and I get in harmony with the law, now we do that, odds are pretty good we should understand them, but when we get in harmony with the law, then I'm gonna tell you it's just smooth sailing. Success happens. Probably be a good, understand, good idea to understand the laws, wouldn't it? Think about it. Your life is governed by laws that are not man-made, so they're not gonna be man-changed. And if you study them and work in harmony with them, I'm gonna go shock yourself with the good you can do. Now, I've been doing that for the last 58 years. I'm starting to get a really, a reasonable grip on them, but I don't understand them as well as I would like to, or would like to. But I'm gonna study a little more today. You know, I get my trusty book out here. I'll have to talk to you about this book. Uh, that'll be another talk. Study the laws.
find out what they write, what they're like, what are the laws, and then study them. You'll win. Bye bye. Check us out at ProctorGallagherInstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.